So again, I'm back. Part two. 16 by 20 inch canvas and the beginning of escape that I'm thinking about putting flowers in the foreground, but the texture in the fields that pro project towards you is pretty intense, so it might not be my best idea ever to change this much. I've got some trees with some shadows. I've got some other trees that I'm looking at my crib sheet. And I'm just going to keep putting trees in until I run out of <laughs> incentive. My trees are nothing more than my palette knife. Run up and down at first. I'll put even more little indications of trees in the background. And then back and forth in a zigzag pattern. I could probably use a skew or two, and I probably will. I'm just not there yet. I'm, this is my first time trying to, trying to follow a plan like this. I'm trying not to attach the first lump of paint at the ground level of the horizon. That way, after I've spread some of the paint out that I've got, I can pull down and I won't be endangering risking having too much paint there. It's kind of a very simplified forest. They don't call me Bob Ross for nothing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bob was Bob was a master at his at his work and a lot of things, but I'm not sure master is one of those. The more uh, the more rough they look. The more organic they look too. Like once I've got the the purple in place, I like to go back and dip into my dish, which I should show you has the green, the two or three greens, and the turquoise and the purple. And if you go. If you put a wrong mark in, just extend your tree up. And I'm really surprised how well this is working in that wet paint because I was really nervous about doing that. I've got some black paint too and I don't think that's going to hurt using it. Way back there in the background. but I gotta decide to quit at some point in time. I need a couple more trees in the center because I've got that dot. I wonder if I could get rid of that dot. If I can't, no, I had it and it came back. <laughs> it's dug right into the canvas. Too bad it was a purple dot, too. Well, maybe a little tiny sun. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I think I can probably live with that. You watch, I'll try and I'll try and mess with it and I'll bring that purple right back up. I could probably put a little tiny dab of orange in there and it wouldn't hurt anything either. I kind of want to do that. I think I have a very pointy 
my number four is a diagonal. The yellow's getting a little sticky, but it's still... Ooh, that's good. Check that out. That worked out pretty well. So I should work, work some more on these trees on this side, I think. And then it, I'll, I'll contemplate what I want to do tomorrow, if I want to add any flowers or not. I need that <laughs> the skewer I was just using. There's a lot of tools hanging around now, but not as many skewers as there used to be. All right, I'm actually liking that quite a bit, but it doesn't keep me from wanting to add a little bit of black back behind some of the trees, just to intimate some depth to the forest. I might be overstepping my boundaries a little bit. If I just pounce in there. I can always fix this tomorrow. I need to stop fussing. I need to decide what I'm going to do with those trees over there. sort of putting a little dollop of paint down and flicking it. And now I just bent all of my my tree trunks. Okay, well you won't tell. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm getting, I'm chicken, chickening out. But I am looking at this paint thinking, if I'm just brave, whoops. <laughs> if I just get right in there. Add some bigger trees, it'll be okay. And I have smaller trees over here. And this might be the perfect time. I'm going to add a few more. As long as I have those little dollops of paint. Makes it easy to steal a little bit. There, I think I'm pretty well done giving the impression of trees. think. Although they are addictive. They just go in so easily once you get past the fear factor. There we go. 
There's the tree wall I was originally thinking I was going to make. And now I'm done. With the exception of that little spot right there. I don't think this is going to get flowers, but I will contemplate on doing that for another time. I do have one edge I want to fix up that needs a little something something because it's really pale green. But I have enough paint left in my dish and it's the same colors so it will work out. I love you guys. Please, please check out some of my 1900 or 2000 videos. They're on 19 lists or 20 lists of 100 each. And if you need a link, just ask me. They're also organized. If you go to playlists, all playlists on my YouTube channel, you'll find them organized by topic and genre. And if you can't, I can because I've got them all saved. So, if there's anything I can do to help you, other than let you know that my paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe are under Show More when you click Show More, read about halfway down in that description. My email address is available to you when you click Show More underneath the link tree. And you can contact me there with the hashtag and the file number from the title of a video should you be interested in a, in a piece of artwork or information about a class in the at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, please feel free to contact me. My community board, as I may have said in the last video, has tomorrow's video on it, but so do my Facebook groups, often most of them. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, and I do publish, publish tomorrow's video the night before there, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums of older YouTube artworks edited. If you ever want to see something and you can't find it, ask me. I will often edit an artwork that I haven't edited yet. I usually have a wet version and then I leave it until somebody asks me. So thank you guys for all the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted and thank you so much for all the donations that help keep me painting. If you want to make a donation to help keep me painting and buying art supplies and making videos for you, please use the PayPal or Patreon icons on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. You can also find those links on the, li on the link tree. I will see you guys in Am. I love you much. Don't be shy. Ask questions. If I can help you, I will. Um, I think that's all for now. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying, I'm so glad you're here. I post seven days a week and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 10 p.m. also. Bye for now. Priscilla out. See you in on. <laughs>